And welcome to the Paznia Free Press number one, a special inaugural episode courtesy of the Paznia Second Realm Broadcasting Network. My name is Shane, Ray O2. I'm the director of propaganda here at the Paznia Free Press. Uh, I do hope you're having a happy and liberated 2021 uh, thus far. I uh, wanted to take some time for the purposes of transparency and uh, inform you all on the happenings here at the Free Republic of Paznia. Uh, so grab your tea, coffee, blunt, or uh, whatever you like. Get comfortable and uh, let's begin. So two documents were issued uh, this past week, uh, PAS-01 and uh, PAS-02. I figured I would read the brief text and uh, tell you how you can get involved with uh, what we're doing here. Of course, if you're new here, please do go check out our website, paznia.com. Uh, you'll find the Declaration of Independence and uh, our Paznia Constitution, uh, information on events here at the Free Republic, and uh, links to join our various Telegram channels uh, and groups. You can also become a more concrete part of the future here by becoming an honorary stakeholder. Uh, that information is available there uh, as well. Again, Paznia.com. So without further ado, um, let's uh, take a look. So Paz01, file 2021 uh, other, In other words, uh, February 4th, 2021. Uh, this was the uh, establishment of the Paznia Secret Space Program. So um, these aren't long texts. We'll go ahead and just cover them real briefly. But, uh, yeah, Establishment of the Paznia Secret Space Program, a document by the coordinator of Paznia in association with the local Committee of Safety on September 26, uh, 2020. Uh, Paznia Space Directive 3 of September 26, 2020. Uh, and again, yeah, September 20, it's, it's been a little while. It's been four or five months. But, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, Republic. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> we move slowly here. We move slowly here. Um, I, I guess, what, what can I say? Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Section 1, Introduction. Following the establishment of the Paznia Secret, uh, Secret Seasteading Program, the next logical step is to set our eyes and intentions to the stars. The ancients didn't intricately study and construct their societies and worlds to be in alignment with the heavens for no reason. The sky clock is an immutable ledger of humanity's past here on Earth, and everything is integrated, meaning the energies of the planets and universe can be harnessed and even exalted. We live in an electrical universe of abundance, and the main task of the Paznia SSP is to enable Veritas and the overarching Second Realm to thrive in accordance with these truths. Section 2, Definitions For the purposes of this directive, the following definitions shall apply. Subsection A, the term Paznia Secret Space Program refers to the subdepartment of the Paznia Department of Freedom, the program tasked with the challenges laid out in Section 3 below. Subsection B, the term Paznia Secret Space Program refers to a Paznia department led by the lead astronaut, the strategic director of the Office of Calendar Management, and the Galactic Ambassador. Section 3, Proposed Land Purpose. As enacted, the Paznia Secret Space Program A would facilitate the construction of a HQ, and acquisition of a 3D printer, plus associated tools, printer plastic, etc. This will permit the launch of a workshop and factory, and our prime goal of the 3D prototyping of wheelchairs for chickens with broken legs. If we have the tools to do it, it's our duty. No chicken left behind. Engineering assistants may need to be contracted out. Subsection B. The training and initiation of fellow astronauts into the SSP in accordance with existing PASNIA code. Subsection C. The investigation into breakthrough alternative energy devices, harnessing the electrical nature of our universe, and the planning for the equitable distribution across the Agora. Subsection D. Head of Bird Security. Naomi Defense, LLC, has permitted 16 ounces of raw meat per space adventure. It's only fair, guys. And Section 4, Paznia Secret Space Program Budget. In accordance with the Department of Freedom's Accounting Office, the Secretary of No State shall submit to the Strategic Director of the Office of Calendar Management for the Paznia Space Force to be included in the Coordinator's Fiscal Year 2021 Budget Request. Signed, uh, yeah, yours truly. So there's the establishment of the Paznia Secret Space Program. You can find that link there at uh, paznia.com forward slash free press if you want to go download it for some odd reason. But uh, it's there. <coughs> And uh, I will also add that, uh, yeah, as uh, put as I put here underneath the document uh, on the free press uh, page there at uh, the Paznia website, we are pleased to announce creation of the Paznia Secret Space Program. Please click the images uh, to view in a new window, so you can uh, yeah, view. Uh, you can take a look at the document, and then uh, we also have, um, if you'd like to uh, help support the creation of the Paznia Secret Space Programs, um, Aura has actually uh, put together a uh, nice little shirt design. Um, the all proceeds uh, go to the Paznia SSP. 
Um, and uh, you can also, if you're on the podcast uh, and you aren't uh, watching this video, uh, paznia.com forward slash secret space shirt. Uh, you can take a look. It's a really, really uh, yeah, slick design for sure. <laughs> so um, there you have it. Um, now the second item on the agenda today is uh, the Paznia General, or I guess uh, back up to the main page here. Um, PAS 02, file 2021-0207. Uh, in other words, February 7th, 2021. Uh, establishment of the Pasnia General Bitcoin Fund. So, uh, section one, purpose and definition. Uh, the Pasnia General Fund is established for any citizen of Pasnia for the purposes of furthering an individual's goal, uh, goals or, or towards that individual's utilizing the fund in order to further the cause of liberation and self-liberation for others. Uh, section two, creation of the fund. The Pasnia General Funds, the fund, will be set up on a private, newly created Bitcoin address and will be funded with the initial sum equivalent to 1000 USSA dollars at the time of funding. Section 3, Requirements to Utilize Said Fund. Uh, subsection A, the fund shall be established and shall be in effect until the balance of the fund reaches zero or zero Bitcoin, uh, zero dollars or zero Bitcoin, in which time the fund will close after a period of no less than 45 days. Um, B, an inquirer who wishes to seek invasion of the fund must be a citizen and or contributor to Pasnia and must present proof of citizenship. Um, for example, Pasnian passport, Pasnia flag, um, Pasnia coin, which doesn't exist. Um, C, uh, some examples of a valid and reasonable request from the funds are, but not limited to, furthering the cause of Vanu and self-liberation. Um, an individual, um, uh, one, wishes to utilize the fund in order to plant a garden on his or her land. Uh, number two, needs to temporarily fund a food supply. Number three, any equipment needed to construct mesh networks or further the cause of crypto anarchy. Four, is destitute and needs money from the fund or without it risk, or without it, risk rejoining the servile society. <clears throat> Five, needs to cover up front costs of publishing a liberty-oriented book or pamphlet through Liberty Under Attack Publications, LUA Pub. Um, and uh, six, wants to use the funds for black or gray market activities. Seven, needs to protect him or herself and his or her family by utilizing the funds to purchase protection. Eight, is using the fund to culture jam first realm culture and or create new culture through the Pasnian Paz. And nine, a Pasnian citizen and or family member of a Pasnian citizen is captured and needs funds for release and or legal defense. Um, so next section, inquiries for invasion of the funds. All inquiries will be considered on a first-hand basis and must be in writing and encrypted. Use of pseudonyms will be encouraged. Use of pseudonyms are encouraged. The creator of the fund reserves all rights to the fund and has the right to decline funding for any reason. Inquiries can be submitted to josiah.warren at protonmail.com. So, Josiah, big shout-out to you, my friend. Thank you for um, taking the initiative and uh, setting this up. But back to it. Inquiries can be submitted to josiah.warren at protonmail.com. It will be answered as soon as possible. The inquiry must contain, one, the individual pseudonym, two, a brief description of need for the funds, three, the exact amount needed, four, if items are being purchased, a manifest and or invoice, five, a valid and confirmed Bitcoin address not originating from an exchange or a coin base. Nice touch. I like that. Um, <laughs> next section, prohibited use of the fund, abuse of said fund. The fund shall not be used to fund any state activities, included, including but not limited to payment of taxes, purchase of materials that support law enforcement, military, or any other welfare warfare schemes cooked up by state actors. Three, funding political crusades in any way, either directly or indirectly. Four, pro-servile society, first-round propaganda. Five, creation of a culture of dependence on any individual. This is not a welfare program or a crutch. Any funds received from the fund are considered a gift. Any citizen abuse of the fund will be dealt with in a respectful manner and in accordance with the Pasadena Constitution and within the non-aggression principle. Uh, any abuse or use of funds that may be considered to be prohibited or unreasonable or not adhering to the values of Pasadena and Vanu will be required to pay back the fund with a 20% penalty. Uh, donations to the fund. Uh, any citizen can make a donation to the fund by inquiring to the fund's creator at josiah.warren at protonmail.com, which will be provided in the show notes for this episode. Uh, any funds given will be irreversible once they are given. Such funds will become part of the fund and utilized in a responsible manner in accordance with fund principles outlined above. The fund will be created and funded on or around the month of February 2021. Laissez-faire, uh, signed Josiah Warren. So there you have it. Again, if you'd like to check out the full text or download those for some odd reason, uh, you can go to pasnia.com forward slash free press. And um, 
as, as uh, you know, with Paz01, with the establishment of the Pazian Circuit Space Program, you can help support that. And uh, there's already been, uh, I think, uh, Josiah hopped in uh, the, uh, the Telegram, uh, the Pazian Telegram chat, and uh, there's already a, a, a donation to the uh, Pazian General Bitcoin Fund. So if you would like to uh, contribute to that, um, I've got it up here on the screen for the video viewers and listeners. But uh, you can voluntarily contribute to the Pazian General Fund. Um, via the Bitcoin address there on the page. Um, so, so yeah, with that said, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very first installment, Pasadena Free Press number one, courtesy of the Pasadena Second Realm Broadcasting Network. My name is Shane Rayo2, Director of Propaganda here at the Pasadena Free Press. Please do check out what we're doing, Pasnia.com, and uh, do become a, an honorary stakeholder if you'd like to uh, become a more concrete part of uh, what we've got going on here. So with that said, thanks so much, and uh, yeah, always remember, Bonnie was here. Is it possible to create pockets of freedom where personal autonomy is respected? In the novella, Hashtag Agora, Daniel LaRusso finds out the answer firsthand. After discovering Bitcoin, he becomes immersed in the cypherpunk underground. Encryption, ghost pads, temporary autonomous zones, and much more. He learns the benefits of freedom, of these tools for self-liberation, and how truly free individuals could conduct their affairs outside of the servile society. Based on real individuals in modern-day Berlin, Germany, Hashtag Agora gives you a practical representation of how freedom pioneers can carve out pockets of freedom in an otherwise enslaved world. Get your paperback copy today by visiting tinyurl.com slash agoraanarchy. Again, that's tinyurl.com slash agoraanarchy. And for more titles like this, please search for Liberty Under Attack publications on Amazon.